are about to find out if they got their calculations right. On a single span cable stay bridge like the Normandy Bridge, a large load on the main section is no problem because the cables are attached to solid ground and can't give. On the Malau Viaduct, with its eight spans, the cables are attached to the deck of the adjacent sections. A load on one section will cause it to drop, pulling the stays down. As the pylons lean in, the matching stays are pulled upwards, lifting the neighboring decks and causing a dangerous rippling effect. It's right now the team put their bridge to the test. These 28 trucks have a combined weight of over 900 tons. They are now positioned in the critical point, mid-span. The engineers hold their breath. Measurements are taken. The span bends just 26 centimeters. This is a triumph for the engineers. The bridge was designed to cope with more than double that. Four weeks later, on December the 14th, 2004, President Jacques Chirac officially opened the Malau Bridge. A proud moment for the whole of France. Just over three years of construction have produced the tallest bridge in the world, designed to last at least 120 years. And against the odds, the project manager even brought the job in on time. But that's not what he's most proud about. What I remember, because in construction sites there are often accidents, is that we had no serious accidents, nothing more than a minor injury. As soon as it opened to the public, the bridge was an instant success. But the real test isn't till its first summer and the French all take their annual vacation. No one ever expected anything like this. Numbers peaked at more than 50,000 vehicles a day. At over $7 per car, that's great news for the construction company, who are clawing back their $478 million investment in the project. This was an epic bridge to build, but it's just as epic to maintain. Thierry and Frank are assigned to P2, the world's tallest bridge pier. This structure is no solid concrete block. It's a series of vast hollow spaces. Their job today is to test the communication system and electric circuits on each of the seven structural floors. This involves a 343 meter climb, going hand over hand up a ladder for the rest of the day. By dusk, when Thierry finally reaches the summit of the pylon, he may be exhausted, but there is a payoff. You get a fantastic view from here, a 360 degree panorama. The tallest bridge in the world has become an icon. But this is creating problems no one had ever imagined. Locals have been taking over the bridge as a platform to get media attention for their causes. This crowd was hoping that driving sheep over this freeway in the sky would help them get more farming subsidies. Jose's job is to prevent this kind of incident from creating a danger. And on this bridge, the incidents keep on happening. An alarm triggered by a motion detection system means there's a stopped vehicle on the bridge. Immediately, Jose dispatches a colleague to deal with the situation. The last thing anyone wants is a multi-car pile-up on a two-and-a-half-kilometer bridge, quarter of a kilometer in the sky. Jose zooms in his camera to reveal the man has left his car and is sitting dangerously on the crash barrier. The driver's probably only broken down, but already one man who stopped climbed over the wind barrier and jumped to his death. Bruno intervenes. Thankfully, it's no more than an irresponsible photographer who's sent on his way. 
You could say the Malau Bridge is a victim of its own success. It's definitely become a major tourist destination. 700,000 visitors in the first nine months. Fortunately, most of them wait till they're off the bridge to take their photos. It's magnificent. I came 600 kilometers today to see the Malau Viaduct. There's only one thing to say. It's extraordinary. They're drawn because it's a world-beating structure, but also because it's incredibly beautiful, delicate and minimal. Not what you'd expect from a structure that's nearly a third taller than any other bridge on the planet. And architect Lord Norman Foster's achieved his aim to give the driver the sensation of soaring. As you leave these plateaus, you do fly. You fly across this bridge. Literally, you are above the clouds. And the result certainly pleases the man who dreamt it all up. To see erected this bridge, which I imagine you know, 15 years ago, is something magic. This is the longest pure cable stay bridge in the world, the tallest roadway in the world, and of course, at 343 meters, it is the tallest bridge ever constructed.